So for cutting a rabbit across the end grain or a filister like this, it's just the same thing. There's no reason to grab the filister plane and set fences and depth stops when I can just grab a regular fenceless rabbit plane. But instead of this straight edge one like I used for the long grain rabbit, I'm gonna use a skewed iron. And these are much more common on the vintage market. They're a heck of a lot easier to find. And I strike my knife line across the grain. And it's important that you make this a really deep knife line. Either use a gauge off the end grain or rather than planing the end grain and everything, just use a square and a knife and get it really scored in there deep. Now, this is set up the same way. This leading edge is a little bit proud of the sole here. I can come in and drop the plane right in my knife line. Let me advance that cut just a little bit. There, and I started to form a little V-groove right there on the knife line. Make another pass. Now, just as before, I'm going to start to drop this down. Move it down towards parallel. So now, bring it back up. And you can see with the skewed iron, just like the moving filister plane, I get a really clean surface. And I can register right up against this wall I've created. And plane it down. Now there's always a chance that you get a little bit of blowout here on the end. A lot of times what I'll do is leave my board a little bit wider than I actually need. And I can come back with a regular bench plane and just clean that off. But if you've got a sharp blade, freshly sharpened iron, and you're not taking a really monster pass, this will leave a pretty clean edge, as you can see, like I'm getting right here. If I had a lot of material to remove, what I'd do is probably come in with a chisel and knock the bulk of it out with a chisel, and then just come back with a light cut on this to refine it and clean up the bottom, square everything up. Speaking of which, let's see. The shoulder is square. And the rabbit itself is square. No need to set any fences or depth stops. And you know, if I just need one or two rabbits, it's just a matter of working right in the knife line. Now I get a really clean shoulder on a really dense wood like Sapili, which I'm working with here. But a lot of times if you're working with a softer wood or wood that's got a much lower density, or maybe even a ring porous wood where there's a lot of dead space in between the early and late growth fibers, it can be difficult and the shoulder will want to splinter more readily as they come across in the knife line. So if you've got like a really wide rabbit you're going to cut, like say a breadboard in, or a more difficult wood when it comes to splintering like that, I'll mark my knife line and I'll come in and saw it to depth. We'll just assume that's depth. And I can either grab uh, a chisel, probably that's the fastest way to come in, grab a chisel and knock out the majority of the wood. And you can see it will just plane away real quickly. I could also come with a wider chisel on the end grain here and just split it out. That's definitely the fastest. And now I've got a very clean shoulder established here. I grab my plane.
There. Getting a full length pass. And there's my rabbit with a nice razor sharp shoulder.